Hello everybody, welcome back to part two of my £100 campervan challenge. I left last week's video, which was only this morning a few hours ago, um, I was taking Teddy for a walk and we did that. We came back to the van and had our usual little routine as it's turning out. I did some reading um, and Teddy had a very good sleep and it's now I've taken my watch off to charge, but it's it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and it feels right now is about the time we are leaving to move on to the next park up, which again is only a quarter of an hour or so away from where I stayed last night. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we find when we get there. Uh, probably another walk, probably a bit more camper van chill out time. Um, and yes, here we go for the second part of the challenge. First week of October and it's so warm. Sitting here, we've just been for a walk, but there's barely a breath of wind. So I'm sitting on the step of the van, having a cup of tea, watching all the birds coming in to roost and um, enjoying life. I've got another park up. Um, I was getting a bit worried because there didn't seem to be any motorhomes here at all, which started me thinking that maybe it's the type of place where people have been getting moved on. Um, but after me and Teddy have been for a walk, we've come back and there's a couple of other bands here now. So I feel a lot more comfortable. And, uh, um, had another of those quesadillas for lunch. Um, I had it quite late, so I'm not all that hungry at the moment. So I'm having a cup of tea. Um, might have something later on, but um, I'm probably going to watch another film on the fire and um, have an early night. See what tomorrow brings. See you in the morning. Well, good morning everyone. It's Friday and I had another really lovely night last night in this location. It's, um, it's in the Monmouthshire County and when I arrived, I, there were lots of cars here because it's near fields, there's lots of dog walkers and there are no signs here saying no overnight camping. But then as sort of evening came, all the cars went and I started to get a little nervous then thinking it's too good to be true it's so lovely um, there is bound to be a problem I'm gonna get moved on so I kind of resigned myself to I'm gonna have to get out of here but at least I'd been here for pretty much all afternoon so I took Teddy for a walk yesterday evening there's lovely gardens around here and fields and a river walk really lovely um, and then when I got back to my van, just after six o'clock in the evening, I turned up here and there was a van next to me. Um, Self-built van, complete with um, log burner. And I kind of went, put Teddy in my van and their door was open. So I kind of just went over and said, hi. I said, are you 
staying here. Lovely guy inside. Yes, um, he's a van lifer and he, he, he knows this spot. Um, so it, I felt immediately relieved. I could relax and enjoy the evening. Um, uh, so yeah, it was just, I felt a bit sort of safer knowing that, uh, that there was somebody else here and that it was unlikely we were going to get moved on. So I carried on the rest of my evening and um, what did I have for tea? Oh, I didn't really have tea last night because I'd had that quesadilla at lunch, well, quite late. Um, <clears throat> so um, yeah, quite a light night, which is great because normally in the house I would be scoffing a lot. Um, I've managed to, apart from the jam I bought, I've had jam on a couple of oat cakes. I haven't indulged in my usual cake, biscuits and chocolate, which is incredible. And I have missed it, I've got to be honest. When I'm in the van, like I said, I do tend to eat less, so I'm really happy with that. In terms of budget, I'm just over a quarter of tank fuel of fuel gone now. And obviously I've got to get home so I'm going to be at least half a tank down um, which is fine I'm still in my head thinking it's 65 pounds for fuel 20 pounds on the food that I've already brought with me um, so I've got about 15 pounds left and it's Friday today um, so I'm reasonably confident that unless anything untoward happens um, everything's going to be okay at the end of the week, I will go through exactly what I've spent on parking and, and all the other bits and bobs. Um, in terms of the food I brought, I've had um, yeah the tortillas, the cheese, not all of it. There's, there's still some cheese left. Um, pretty much used all the spinach now. There's a bit of pepper left. I've got a whole pack of eggs, so I feel a, an omelette is on the cards at some point. Uh, I do love those quesadillas though. Oh my word, absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, all in all, pretty happy. Um, we've been out this morning. It's it's still mild, very, very mild. Um, quite warm in the nights. Um, it's a bit damp in the air, so I took Teddy for a, a walk. I wore my ordinary trainers, which was a mistake because we ended up going off piste. There's footpaths that are sort of paved. And we ended up going across the grass and my feet got absolutely soaking. Didn't put my walking shoes on. Um, so we've come back to the van and I've put the heater on. Um, and I've used it about the first couple of nights I was here away. I mean, um, it was a bit cool. So I put the heater on for a blast. To be honest, I only need it on for half an hour. And then the van just gets too hot. Um, you can adjust the temperature, but even so, it, it does get warm. I've put it on again this morning simply because Teddy was damp. My shoes, I was trying to dry them out. And for that purpose, as well as heat in the van, it's really lovely if you've got wet clothes. Um, you can just sort of get the air a bit warmer and drier to um, dry them off. So I put it off now because otherwise you'd hear that in the background. But just to summarise thus far, I am absolutely loving this. I am so grateful that I've had the opportunity to come and do this. I'm feeling a little bit more confident now in uh, the sort of um, the places that you can go. Um, no doubt there will be places in the future I will get moved on from. But thus far, it's it's much nicer than I thought. And I'm really loving this simpler life while I'm here. I realise, of course, that I've got a home and all the luxuries and, you know, everything to go back to. And this isn't sort of permanent for me, um, but I'm still enjoying the little time away from it all. And um, yeah, loving the simple things here. And the other thing I was going to mention was I've been watching, um, I downloaded before I left home, a series on iPlayer called Vigil and um, there were six episodes so I've been watching those pretty much one or two a night and I finished that the night before last really enjoyed it uh, I watch on my fire I've talked about this little device before it's it's just perfect I put headphones in and um, I, it's just it's like with the van all the blinds up it, it feels like you're in your own little cozy world it's brilliant so that finished. So last night I was a bit stuck because the signal here isn't that good. So I thought, I don't think I'm going to be able to download another film. But I realised that I already had two films downloaded on my Fire from 
ages ago um, from Amazon Prime. I don't know if any of you've got Amazon Prime memberships, but I love mine. I've had it a rolling membership for, I don't know, five or six years now, maybe. And, and it just gets used to death with all the Amazon deliveries, um, the reading, the books you can download, your Kindle or whatever, and the films. So um, I had found two films on there that I had downloaded ages ago. So I watched one of those last night and it was called Our Friend. Oh my goodness, if any of you are feeling like a little bit of a tearjerker, oh, um, Dakota Johnson's in it. I won't give you any spoilers, but uh, very, very emotional. And it was one of those where I was glad I was on my own. I uh, could have a little sob and um, just, yeah, really, really enjoyed that. So that was my uh, entertainment. And then as usual, I am sleeping by, by 10 o'clock. I woke up a couple of times in the night, but it was just peaceful here. Didn't hear traffic, didn't hear wildlife, didn't hear anything. And then um, I'm up. I actually set a few alarms this morning and I got up in time for my meditation <laughs> with Yvette. Um, so that was great. Um, moving on to other news, my I call this a solo female camper van, £100 camper van challenge. The solo bit is coming to an end tonight. I must confess, um, I am going to have company tonight. Richard is joining me for the weekend, in fact. So I hope, I hope you're going to forgive me for that. The reason is, um, obviously, he's missed me tons. Um, <laughs> I've missed him as well. Um, but the reason is, a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that uh, Richard and I are moving house, or intend to move house, and. We've, we've spent months now looking in uh, West Wales for a house and we found the house we wanted. We sold our house, found the house we wanted and all things have been rumbling in the background. Um, and typically, uh, <laughs> you know what happens, you know what's coming next. The house we had our hearts set on have pulled out due to unforeseen circumstances and it's, it's not their fault, but anyway, they're not moving house now. So that happened this week while I've been away. So we've kind of, as I said, we've sold ours. So we're in the uh, decision now that we've gone so far down. Do we um, try and find another house? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to really sort of commit ourselves to finding another house. So that's cut a long story short why Richard is joining me. Um, we need to talk about and, and sort of decide what, what we're doing going forward do we stay put or do we move house so yeah lots to talk about and it's very difficult when you're on the phone um, and I didn't want to go home to be honest so he's he's coming to see me here and it'll be lovely anyway so it won't be solo any longer however I am keeping to my budget still and we're still wild camping wild loosely <laughs> not that wild but yeah we, we we're still in the van um richard can eat what he wants he can spend his own money um i am gonna be using my budget uh we're probably gonna have a takeaway at some point over the weekend but it will be within my budget i will i won't cheat i promise i will account for it all um so yes i'm gonna meet him um from the train station today teddy will be thrilled she absolutely adores Richard when we're in the house I don't get a look in you know she's with Richard she's at his feet she wants to be wherever Richard is and I must admit she's been adorable this week she she's so much lovelier in the van she's um she gets walked umpteen times a day um she's got lots of time to sleep and she's with me all day so she's relaxed she's happy and she cuddles at night. She, she is the perfect van dog. She really is adorable. She got a tendency to bark. So I was a little nervous this week that she was going to be hearing noises in the night and barking. But she hasn't, to be honest. She goes to sleep in the night and you can't wake her up in the morning. You know, she's flat out. So again, that aspect um, has been brilliant. But anyway, yeah, she's going to be so excited to see Richard. 
so um, I'm going to I'm still doing my miracle mornings but they're being adapted um, I can do the meditation I can do my affirmations and my journaling my visualizing the bit that I'm having a challenge with is the exercise bit now I am walking a lot but I did commit to doing the um, a 30 day yoga challenge with Adrienne on YouTube if you're interested in yoga she's amazing and all these um, yoga classes are, are free and they're absolutely incredible um, so I've been doing those um, while I was at home and I've tried in the van um, with the bed later because there's obviously no room here so I've been doing it with the the bed <laughs> doing an adapted pose because I can't stand up when the bed's out um, yeah it's, it's proved really challenging I can do certain things like the stretches and certain poses are great so I'm doing my own kind of adapted version so <laughs> yeah a few things are falling off the wagon here but essentially the main um, thing for me this week was to sort of challenge myself and I am really glad I've done this I'm really enjoying it. it's not over yet I am enjoying it and I'm gonna go home um, and plan the next one because um, yeah, just want to do more now. Absolutely loving it. Um, so yeah, I'm signing up now. Um, I'll be joining Richard later. So I'll probably film some B-roll today. Um, there's a lovely location here near a river with a lovely backdrop that I would love to put the drone up. But it's so the cloud is so low today. Um, I don't think it's going to be really good footage. So yeah, that that'll have to be done another time. I think. Um, so yeah um teddy's having a little nap i'm gonna do a little bit of reading we'll go out for another walk no doubt and um i will see you later um when richard joins me <laughs> well me and teddy are now we're in abergavenny and richard's just got off the train so we are sitting in this lovely little green area waiting for him to arrive and again, lovely warm autumn day in the river Gaveni right behind me. Good morning from the mothership. It's Saturday morning today and uh, Richard arrived yesterday um, and we drove on another 10 minutes probably to somewhere we've been before, um, Crick Howell um, and it's just lovely here, we, we do love it. Now it is cheating slightly because it's in Powys so we know we're allowed to park here one night in seven uh, but just it, we knew we knew there was one reason we came here actually and that was because we had a Chinese takeaway here about a year ago and one of the best Chinese takeaways we've ever had so we decided as a bit of a treat last night to come up here have a Chinese takeaway but don't worry folks I have kept to my budget so far because I had half a sweet and sour chicken and shared some chips so I've accounted for both those meals and um, half of them because Richard had the other half Richard had other stuff as well but I didn't have rice from the Chinese I cooked one of these rice sachets which was they're like 50 pence from home bargains and one of my favorites is the curry flavor rice it's not overly curry tasting but it's got things like sultanas in it and I love it so I cooked up that Richard had a, a rice from the Chinese um, and we did have a bottle of wine so I've gone in halves for the bottle of wine and we paid for parking here and we're here Saturday morning so we're having to put another couple of quid in the parking meter because we're going to go for a little walk along the canal now so yes I've spent more since Richard turned up <laughs> than I have all week of course I don't know how much fuel I'm going to use at the moment I'm on I think I've just used over a quarter of a tank so I'm probably going to have a little bit of budget from my £65 on the fuel but I don't know yet so I'm trying to be careful um, trying not to spend anything today um, so yes we'll see how that goes but anyway we are going for a little walk along the canal
Well, I thought I would just do a quick catch up. It's Saturday afternoon and Richard and I walked with Teddy, obviously, walked along the canal this morning and um, beside Crick Howell and went for a couple of miles, really. Just lovely, really, really pretty, very peaceful. Sometimes I love canals because you get away from road and traffic and um, lovely old trees. Um, look, looked ancient. So yeah, we got back to the van in Crook Howell and I had one of my famous cheese quesadillas because that is the food of this trip. <laughs> I think I've probably had about three of them now. Um, so that was lovely. And we've moved on again. And I've come back because I like this park up so much. I've come back with Richard to show him. Um, so we're going to stay here this evening. Um, we're going to attempt some bruschetta this evening um, with some bread rolls that Rich, uh, Richard brought with him that are um, we're never going to use all of them. So I'm going to attempt the bruschetta with the tomatoes I brought um, and some garlic and well actually Richard's going to make them because he's in charge of bruschetta in our household and I'm going to make some form of pasta. Uh, my food supplies are running quite low now, so um, it's going to be some kind of spaghetti with pesto. <laughs> um, yeah, lots of salt and pepper, <laughs> some grated cheese. But we'll have the bruschetta with it, so that'll cut through it, hopefully. Um, yeah, that, that's about the update, really, today. Um, Teddy is sitting beside me. Uh, very anxious because Richard has gone to the shop. Uh, Teddy's very anxious as to where he's gone, so she's just waiting for him to come back. Um, he's gone to pick up some uh, drinks, sparkly water for me. I think I've got enough in my budget for that. So probably won't film any more today because once it starts getting dark, the light in here is not really good enough to film with. Um, the plan now tomorrow is um, I'm either going to drop Richard off at the train station so he can go home or more probably we're going to spend tomorrow doing another little walk somewhere in this area um, and then tomorrow's the last night of my challenge so um, I might if I don't drop him off at the train, train station I'll have to go and find somewhere for myself for one more night or I might drive home um, but to keep in the spirit of the challenge, I will stay in the van and eat what's left of my food in the van, but probably stay on our driveway. <laughs> I hope that's not going to be a disappointing end to the week. Um, but yes, we'll see. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. But uh, yeah, catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning and it's the last night of my challenge. Rich has been with me for the weekend <clears throat> and uh, we had another good night's sleep last night so I'm just using up some food to do a bit of a breakfast this morning so Richard went out and bought a couple of sausages yesterday so we've got two left so I'm cooking those this morning with some baked beans um, the eggs that I brought with me and a bit of the leftover bread and I'm using a combination of the Ridge Monkey pans to do all of that so in this one, um, I've cooked the sausages already. I've just put the baked beans in and as you can see, it's very full. So you have to be really careful that doesn't um, bubble over. <laughs> uh, and then the other lid from the, well, actually the lid from the multi-pan is the griddle side and that's, I've stuck on there. The flat one, I've got warming up with some oil because I'm going to fry a couple of eggs on there and I already have toasted my bread roll earlier. It's going to be a bit cold, but it'll have hot beans on it. And um, yeah, and of course, coffee first thing. I'm just at the end of cooking now, so beans are all cooked through. And I've put, I swapped the lid now and put it over the eggs just <clears throat> to cook the top of the eggs because I can't bear uncooked egg tops. <laughs> so we're almost ready. His Lordship is uh, eagerly awaiting. 
and her ladyship has already had hers. Coming to the end of a lovely circular walk from Usk Town, we walked up past the castle and then on a little footpath through some beautiful woodlands, um, through farmland, and we're just heading back into town now on beside the busy road, but we're on the little footpath beside the river. And it is unbelievably warm for a, a little fleece on to come out, but it's too hot. So I'm just in uh, a light walking top. Um, Usk is a big place for motorcyclists and cyclists. It's a lovely town actually. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna head back to the van now and make a decision on uh, whether I take Richard back and sleep on the driveway tonight. Uh, or what? <laughs> Good afternoon. It is Sunday afternoon and I am back on my little driveway. Yes, uh, made the decision. Richard has to be home because he's got an online meeting tomorrow. Um, and I did think about to drop him off at the station, but I thought maybe that was just pushing this challenge a little bit too much for the sake of it. So we've driven home together. Uh, he's gone in the house now to go back to normal. But this, I set out to do a seven day challenge. It, it was solo for four and a half of those days. And then Richard joined me. But anyway, it's gonna remain a hundred pound camper van challenge. And I've decided to honour that. I am staying in my van for today and tonight. And I'm going to eat up whatever food is left. I've still got plenty of my rice left. All the fresh stuff has gone now. The spinach and the tomatoes has gone. I have cheese. <laughs> I've had cheese quesadillas for lunch already. So I don't think I can really eat any more cheese today. Um, so yeah, I'm chilling out. I'm obviously videoing this. Got more reading to do. The sun has been out. It's absolutely stunning and warm today, like I said earlier. So the van has been roasting all afternoon. I've had all the windows and the vent open. I think the sky is still really clear and blue, so I think tonight probably is going to get cold. Um, and if it does, well, I'll put the heater on. Um, and then in the morning, I will also um, look at the fuel gauge, work out how much fuel I have spent and take that money out of my budget, as well as the money for odds and ends that I bought since Richard joined me. So we did buy a couple of sausages. So I've gone halves on the sausages and the bread um, and a couple of drinks here and there. Other than that, I've made, apart from the takeaway, <laughs> which um, was delicious, I must say, mm, really lovely. Um, the food I've eaten, uh, there were some like the couple of the flavoured rice things that were in my van anyway. Um, but the majority I have, I didn't need to buy anything. I could have managed, but I think towards the end of the week, it would have got a little bit monotonous, particularly with cold drinks, because... Um, I put water on in all the plastic containers before I left the house and drinking that now a few days in it doesn't feel so good. So I bought a couple of bottles of sparkly water. Um, but other than that, I think the budget £100 for the week was absolutely doable. I will go into the uh, absolute details um, later in this video. 
um, and obviously it depends how far you want to drive, um, how luxurious you want to eat, but it is definitely possible to have seven nights away and spend £100, definitely. So I'm going to sign off now. I will catch up in the morning to go through the final results. Good morning, everybody. Monday morning and my challenge is officially over now. Um, it is 10 past eight in the morning and it was a beautiful night. I went to sleep quite early again, about nine o'clock, and the stars were absolutely incredible. And um, I'm trying to learn how to take nice photos of stars with um, one of my cameras. It's not a DSLR, uh, it's the Osmo Action. <clears throat> and it's struggling really, but it was fun trying. Um, I got a tripod and everything, but I think there's just too much light pollution around here. But it was, it was a good experiment. Anyway, I went to bed then quite early, um, about nine, half past, I think it was. And it was really warm in the van when I went to sleep. And then I woke up about four o'clock in the morning. Oh, there's a lorry going past. It's going to be noisy. Actually, not too bad. And I woke up about four o'clock in the morning and just knew straight away it was cold because when you move your head, the pillow was freezing. I was lovely and toasty because I had the sleeping bag wrapped all around me and then a blanket, um, this little throw over that so I was really warm but just the air was cold, you could tell. Um, but I didn't bother putting the heating on, I kind of thought oh I'll grin and bear it so I went back to sleep and then I woke up with my alarm this morning at six o'clock and um, put the heater on. It was really cold. Um, it warmed up quickly then so the heater is absolutely incredible if anyone is interested in the heater by the way i have done a video i shall put the link um in the description on that one it's the auto term planner heater and um, i did a had it fitted a year ago haven't really had much chance to use it because of lockdown and me being working and everything but um it certainly came on this morning and i was very very grateful for it so yeah, I had a video showed um, what it is and uh, where it all goes in, in a bongo. So I've had uh, my coffee in the van. Richard came to join me. Uh, he's gone in the house now. Um, so my job today is, well, the first job I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to having a hot shower, wash my hair. I've had to put a hat on guys because my hair now, as you can imagine, uh, is quite a state so yeah really make myself feel human again nice hot shower when you've been living in a van I love it but it's so nice it makes you appreciate when you go home to have hot running water um, flushing toilets and everything yeah so I'm gonna have a shower I'm going to do the washing clean the van up and crack on with the editing um, I will come back in then and check off all the mileage, tot up all my costs for the week and then I shall come back here and give you the final rundown of did I do seven nights for a hundred pound. <laughs> so I'll see you in a bit when I've kind of tidied myself up. <laughs> That's better. Oh that was so lovely. A hot shower, running water, the carpets felt really luxurious under my feet. It's funny, isn't it? I've only been away a week and yet um, you quickly get used to hard floors, grit under your feet um, and having to sort of heat up water when you need it. So yes, I've enjoyed my shower, clean, fresh clothes on. So I feel a bit more human now. So yeah, just to round up, I'm in the van. I am going to have a little look at the fuel gauge, work out how much fuel I spent, and then add up um, all the incidentals that I spent apart from the £20 which I spent on food before I left. Um, over the weekend I did buy drinks and a couple of other things, so I'm going to add that up and I shall be back with a grand total. Oh, I'm back again. 
So I have been inside and I've added up all that I spent this weekend. I will itemise it um, in the description. But it's things like car parking at Crickhowell for two days. Well, one, one half a day and one day. So that came to £7. Um, the takeaway, or my share of the takeaway, I should say. Items like sausages, bread, some wine, my digestive biscuits, baked beans, a couple of soft drinks here and there. I used half a tank of fuel, which um, I'm pretty pleased with because we all know how thirsty bongos are. Um, for the total trip, I did 231 kilometres, which is 144 miles. So I've rounded it up to give a little bit of extra. I've said that I spent, I put £65 to fill it, but I've said that I've spent £35 on fuel. So that's half a tank. The £20 I spent in Lidl before I left, which gives me a grand total of, if you remember, this was a £100 challenge for seven nights. I spent £78. Pounds. 78 pounds so i did it easily easily um it was made easy because the majority of nights i stayed certainly the first four nights i parked for free day and night um if i just spent four pounds every day obviously that would have taken me over budget um and then i did enjoy myself when richard came to join me and had a few more drinks um, and bought food that I didn't have with me. Um, a couple of things I used up that were in the van anyway, um, like the condiments, the oil, um, peanut butter that was sitting in my van. Um, but other than that, I think, no, I used the bachelor's rice as well that was sitting in my van. But you can see it was within, easily within a hundred pounds as well. Um, so it is possible guys it is possible and i can't say i didn't have a nice time because i was watching my budget um i had a lovely time i really enjoyed and it just goes to show um if i'd have had um an, no end to my budget i would have probably done things like go and visit the castle um bought more luxurious food but would it really have made it a more memorable trip no i don't think so because the real thing about this trip that i loved was the feeling of freedom driving off from day to day, finding places to park and um, just feeling really free and enjoying it very, very much. So um, I'm going to round off the video here. I need to go now and clean my van. It thoroughly deserves a good clean inside and out. There's all sort of smears and greasy fingerprints everywhere. And of course, then I'm going to start on the editing. Um, so one video will come out on Thursday and then the following one, this one, in fact, with the end results will be out next week. And I will be doing more of these, by the way, um, because I have enjoyed it so much. So, um, yes, take care. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. I love is strong